Hi, in this tutorial video we are going to look at determining the digital uh, transfer function for a buck converter. So in the top circuit here, this is the regular analog circuit, and down here we are, I've input some digital elements so that we can get the uh, digital response for our transfer function. So the key differences here, let's just quickly run this. We can see that we've got the amplitudes are, are lining up. The blue line is the digital one. And then at the bottom here, we can see the uh, effect on the phase uh, for the digital uh, transfer function here. So this delay has been implemented uh, here. I've had, got a zero to hold uh, inserted into uh, before the AC probe here. Uh, and then in front of the comparator circuit here, I have a unit delay block that I've put in. Um, these are sampling at 50k Hertz, which is what the sampling speed of my uh, PWM is. So 50k there and 50k here. And um, once those have been inserted, uh, it's uh, just simply a matter of running the simulation again. The same parameters are um, valid for the analog as they will be for the digital side. So once you've got those set up, you can run the simulation. And here we see again the effect of the delay on the phase of this uh, transfer function. Here now I've got a um, voltage source inverter set up uh, to look at the digital delay effects in uh, for this transfer function. Again, a slightly more complicated uh, topology than that buck converter. Uh, we see here that I've inserted into uh, the feedback lines some zero order holds here, which are then coming into the uh, ABC DQ transformation here. Um, and then we've got our AC probe set up and then heading to the uh, competitor circuit for the gates uh, the gating signals for the switches, I've got our uh, unit delay blocks in. So again, everything's at 10K, uh, which is matching what the PWM is going to be driving at. So these are holds are sampling at 10K and the delay is at 10K. And uh, we can see the effect here of, of that delay in the system now. So again, the red line is the analog control uh, or the analog load plot. Blue line is the uh, amplitude here. So again, matching up nicely in the uh, in the amplitude domain side of things, as we get into the phase, we can see that that delay really is going to be affecting us at the higher frequencies. Okay, so uh, yeah, just a quick example of, of the that you can use the the same approach here to look at more complex topologies with the multi sign AC sweep and with digital control. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, check back again for more videos.